What was it? Conditioning? What, what do you think the, the biggest thing you kind of missed out on maybe the last eight or ten years? Well, lack of consistency, lack of consistency in my training. Yeah. Um, um, you know, you get older, it's hard to push yourself like I used to. Um, I, I'm a self-taught wrestler and uh, it's pretty much self-taught fighter, but uh, I, I just needed somebody there to, to motivate me and push me harder. And, and um, like I said, my, my, my kids are my life, and uh, it's always been difficult for, difficult for me to leave them. Yeah. And uh, this time I had to pack up my bags and uh, I had to move out here and, uh, and, and I'm going to do it right. I got some time, on, I got some time this time and I, I have no excuses for this one. All right. So Mark's in town too, obviously with the training. He's got a, a big appearance coming up with a lot of the guys from Cage Fighters. So they're going to be at Charleston in Vegas on uh, fight day. That's this Saturday, West Charleston. It's 4045 West Charleston. It's a Walmart. So Quentin Jackson's going to be out there. Mark's going to be out there. It's a big cage fighter deal. They're going to have uh, BJ Penn and Randleman. also Kevin Randleman. Mo Lawwell. Good well, one. You'll be, you'll be seeing him uh, real oh, yeah. soon. Oh, yeah. You'll be seeing him real soon in UFC, I expect. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, come on out to Walmart, and uh, uh, we'll be there giving away T-shirts, signing autographs. It'll be a good time, Saturday at noon or something like that? It's uh, noon to one thirty. Yep. yep, come noon on out. All right. Um, so let's look back at that, that Hua fight. First of all, when you were in there, I mean, clearly, you, you know, you were tired. You, it looked like you gassed at some point. What is it like for a fighter? At some it, point? It, it, I don't know. <laughs> at some point, you, I'm being nice. I don't know how early was yeah. it or how late yeah. was it. You well, tell me. But, but it's got to be a sick feeling as you're trying to freaking, you know, avoid getting kicked and punched and all, everything else. And, you know, you're winded. Well, I've been there before. Yeah. But um, honestly, uh, you know, I told people I, I was going to stand up with this guy. And everybody, everybody thought I was full of shit. But uh, honestly, I, I, I trained to stand up with him. But unfortunately, uh, uh, my instincts took over, and I, I took him right to the ground, which was probably a good idea. But once I got down there, yeah. I hadn't done enough wrestling myself. And uh, I feel like I wore him out wrestling him. But at the same time, I, I, I wore myself out early as well. Yeah. And uh, you know, I made weight, you know, the, making the weight wasn't that difficult, but I think it took a little more out of me than I thought, and uh, this time I expect it to be uh, a little easier for me, and uh, I expect to be ready to go. So I, I want you to react to people out there, you know, bloggers, writers, because there are a lot of people who are like, hey, Hua wasn't that great, he wasn't in great condition, and Mark's old. Because I know you have a little different take on that, and I've talked to people who know your game, and they were like, you know what, Mark may have had something to do with Hua looking tired too. Well, I think so. You know, um, it, it, people don't know what it's like to wrestle me. You know, I, I am a different breed when it comes to wrestling, and uh, I think I had a lot to do with him getting tired. Uh, I, you know, uh, he, he couldn't have came that much further in, in two months when he fought Chuck, and, uh, you know, um, I think I tired him out pretty, pretty much, but at the same time, uh, I tired myself out, and uh, it's my fault. You know, nobody's fault but myself, um, and I can't let it happen again. This is my... This is my last shot, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of it. You get pissed at the reaction? Did you think people went overboard? Because you know what happens with older fighters. They're like, uh, that's it, he's done. Uh, not necessarily pissed. Everybody's got a right to their own, own opinion. I just got to prove them wrong. Yeah. That's what I do, and that's what I plan on doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove a lot of people wrong. I'm not done yet, and uh, I really expect to see uh, the best Mark Coleman yet to come. So what do you think when you uh, watch the reaction after Liddell losing? Because I, 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 I got to be honest, I can't find maybe more than one out of ten people who are like, yeah, if he wants to fight, let him go on. I mean, what, what does it feel like as an older fighter, everyone going, hey, he's done. You know, we're going to decide his career. That's it. He's done. Well, I, I think it's two different people, me and Chuck. Yeah. Um, uh, I may be older, but um, I, I've been very fortunate. I'm blessed. Uh, I'm healthy, yeah. very healthy. I haven't taken many shots to the head at all. And uh, I, I think it's a different situation. Uh, Chuck, uh, he, he's been brawling for a long time, and, uh, and 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 I would never say, you know, never say quit to him. But uh, at least he's in position financially that he has that choice. Uh, nobody else really has that choice. Uh, Chuck's got that choice, and uh, you know everybody cares about him. So you know, if it's not there, if he's not gonna, if he's not gonna dedicate and commit himself to fighting for a, for an extended period. It's not going to happen, and that's one thing that's hard to do once you become the champion and he's, he's a celebrity and a star. Um, it's hard to get re back, refocused and recommit, and if he's willing to do that, I think he can still fight, but uh, is he willing to do that? Well, we're going to find out. He's going to decide here probably in the next month or so as to what he's going to do. Um, amongst the other reaction you got, I had talked to Kim Couture. She was making comments about your training and money and this and that, and 
you know, that's someone in the sport. Uh oh. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. I got no comment for her. She, she, uh, she, she don't even need to be bringing up my name. I, I see no reason why she, she even brings up my name. Uh, yeah. um, something like uh, I could have paid people later. Well, that ain't how it works. You know, you got to have the money. Uh, people are spending a lot of money nowadays to pay for these training camps, yeah. and uh, that's what it takes. And uh, fortunately, I got through that Shogun fight and got a little money, and now uh, I'm here. Um, I'm, I'm investing, uh, investing in some uh, trainers and some people, and uh, I think we're going to see it pay off. So let's close on this. What do you think of Bonner as a fighter? Um, he, you know, he, and the interesting thing for him is uh, he just went against a wrestler, young kid, 21, 22 years old, and John Jones. And John kind of manhandled him. So I'm, I'm sure you know, he's thinking about the fact that now he's going against another wrestler. It's probably not the best matchup for him. Uh, well, I'm sure he's probably thinking it's a different wrestler, but uh, I, I, he, he, he better be prepared because I'm, 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 I'm all of John Jones as far as wrestling goes. And uh, with, with this assistance I'm receiving now, I, I expect to be better than, better than ever. And uh, Stephen Bonner, he's one tough character. Nobody, nobody's ever finished him off, and uh, I hope to be the first to, to, to make him tap or, or have that referee pull me off. That's my goal. That's, that's, that's why I'm still in this. People wonder why I'm still doing this shit, because uh, there is no better feeling in the world than, than, to, than to win a UFC fight. That is the, that is the best feeling, and I'm, you know, I'm, getting, I'm getting goosebumps right here thinking about it. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get another win here, period. All right, so you can see Mark this weekend, cage fighter out of Walmart, West Charleston. They're going to have Quinn Jackson, BJ Penn, King Moe's going to be out there, Mark's going to be out there, and yeah, Kevin yeah, Randleman. Kevin so Randleman, yep. really cool deal. That's 12 to 1.30 on Saturday. Hey, thanks for doing it. Thank you.